Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with a Nazi soldier and the Allied forces. Sergeant Don Collier, known as War Daddy, stands amidst the carnage, haunted by loss. Alongside him are his comrades in the tank named Fury, Boyd, Bible, Swan, Trini, Gordo, Garcia, Grady, and Kunas Travis. Amidst repairs to their damaged tank, tensions rise as Kunas blames War Daddy for their harrowing situation. As they struggle to come to terms with the death of a fellow soldier, their tank is attacked once again. Seizing the moment when Kunas finally fixes Fury, War Daddy leads his weary crew back into the fray. Meanwhile, back at the Allies' camp, War Daddy encounters Sergeant Binkowski, and is reminded of the dwindling numbers of their platoon. The stark reality sets in, War Daddy and his men are now the last ones standing. Amidst mourning their fallen comrade Red, War Daddy issues orders to his remaining crew members, Bible Gordo and Kunas. Alone, War Daddy grapples with his own grief over Red's death. Their somber moment is interrupted by the arrival of Private Norman Ellison, a fresh recruit with only eight weeks in the army. War Daddy is taken aback by Norman's presence, and is instructed to keep his distance from the rest of the troop, and to follow orders without getting too close to anyone. Norman's introduction to the crew is met with skepticism and intimidation, as they question his role in the army. Kunas orders him to clean the inside of Fury, exposing Norman to the grim realities of their environment. Overwhelmed, Norman is sickened by the sight of blood and gore within the tank. Meanwhile, War Daddy discusses their situation with fellow soldiers, and tensions rise when a soldier prisoner is brought into the camp. Despite the aggression towards the prisoner, War Daddy advises Norman to be prepared to kill any German soldiers he encounters. Norman, who is yet to take a life, is given a gun, and instructed by Kunas on its use. As they prepare for their next mission, War Daddy assumes leadership of the platoon. Their journey is fraught with danger, as they encounter enemy ambushes and devastating attacks. Norman's hesitation during a critical moment leads to tragic consequences, weighing heavily on his conscience. Arriving at their destination, they meet with Captain Wagoner, to discuss the rescue mission for his stranded soldiers. Despite the lack of sufficient backup, Captain Wagoner entrusts War Daddy and his men with the task at hand. The platoon embarks on the perilous mission, facing fierce resistance from the enemy forces. In the midst of the chaos, the platoon engages in a fierce firefight, with the enemy employing formidable weapons against them. Despite the odds stacked against them, War Daddy and his men press on, determined to complete their mission and rescue their fellow soldiers at any cost. In the midst of battle, Norman, still new to combat, finds himself unable to shoot back at an enemy soldier, as he panics while reloading his gun. Luckily, Bible intervenes and saves him from being shot. Following this incident, Gordo, frustrated with Norman's hesitation, orders him to finish off an enemy soldier on the ground. Norman hesitates, believing the soldier is already dead, but Gordo insists on the need to double-tap them. Overwhelmed, Norman breaks down, expressing his reluctance to continue fighting. War Daddy scolds him for his hesitation, while Gordo tries to comfort him, explaining that such actions are part of the brutal reality of war. Despite his emotional turmoil, the group ultimately manages to defeat the Nazi soldiers. In a poignant moment, one of the soldiers approaches a dying enemy and offers a prayer. War Daddy takes the opportunity to talk to Norman about his struggles, revealing that he was not adequately trained for combat, and was hastily sent to Germany. As the group progresses, they encounter a Nazi soldier disguised in an American jacket, who is being toyed with by other soldiers. War Daddy intervenes and demands that Norman kill the Nazis. When he refuses, War Daddy forcefully places the revolver in his hand, making him pull the trigger. Traumatized by the experience, he is comforted by Bible as they return to the group. Despite War Daddy's tough exterior, the soldiers acknowledge that he is the glue holding their group together. Their journey leads them to a nearby town, where they encounter a grim scene, dead bodies of Germans who refuse to fight in the war hanging in the streets. Upon entering the town, they search for German soldiers, only to have an old man shot for revealing their location. A fierce shootout ensues, culminating in the platoon successfully capturing the town after the Burgermeister surrenders. During their victory celebration, Gordo and Kunas engage in flirtation with a German woman, taking her into their tank for intimate encounters. In the midst of wartime chaos, War Daddy seeks out Norman to commend him for his actions on the battlefield. Norman responds with a touch of sarcasm, prompting War Daddy to show him the grim reality of war, by taking him to an office filled with fallen comrades. Amidst the somber scene, War Daddy tries to impart some hard truths about the ideals of war. Their attention shifts when they notice a woman peering cautiously from a nearby window. They investigate, discovering Irma and her young cousin Emma hiding in their apartment. 
Deciding to stay for a while, War Daddy strikes a deal with Irma for a meal and a shave, in exchange for cigarettes. As the women prepare the food, they are surprised to learn that Norman can play the piano. Emma joins in, singing as he plays, and War Daddy encourages Norman to spend time with her. They share an intimate moment, which War Daddy allows, advising Irma to let them enjoy their youth. Their peace is interrupted when Bible Gordo and Kunas burst in, claiming a woman is waiting for Norman in the tank. However, upon seeing Emma, they realize what transpired. Kunas and the others begin to bully Norman and harass Emma, but War Daddy intervenes, putting an end to their behavior. Despite the tension among the soldiers, they all sit down to share a meal, during which Gordo tells a disturbing story. As the atmosphere grows more strained, War Daddy warns them not to ruin the meal. However, Gordo continues with a tale about befriending a horse, before killing it, causing further discord. Bible and Kunas back him up, challenging War Daddy's authority. Later, tensions boil over as War Daddy, in a fit of frustration, sarcastically thanks the group for their conversation, slamming the table and spitting on Kunas. Gordo offers an apology as a soldier arrives, calling them to their next mission. They are ordered to capture and hold a crucial crossroad, but the uncertainty of what they will face adds to the danger. As they prepare to depart, a German shell strikes the town, hitting Irma and Emma's house. Norman rushes to find them, followed closely by Kunas. Tragically, he discovers Emma's lifeless body, further traumatizing him and angering him towards the Nazis. Kunas urges Norman back to the tank, but he refuses. In a moment of understanding, Kunas allows him to release his frustration by hitting him, before pushing him back towards the tank. The platoon sets out, with Norman still reeling from Emma's death. War Daddy speaks with him, acknowledging that death is an inevitable part of war. En route to the crossroad, they are ambushed by enemy soldiers in a tiger tank. The platoon struggles to combat the superior firepower, leading to the deaths of Sergeant Davis, Sergeant Binkowski, and their fellow soldiers. Sergeant Davis is fatally shot in the head by the tank's cannon, while Sergeant Binkowski perishes in the ensuing flames. Fury, under War Daddy's command, faces off against the Tiger tank. With War Daddy leading their counterattacks, they manage to destroy the enemy tank and kill its crew. Once again, War Daddy and his remaining crew stand alone, unable to communicate their situation, due to damaged radio equipment. Despite the stress and devastation, they share a moment of dark humor, before resuming their mission. Upon reaching the crossroad, Fury is immobilized by a landmine, its tread severed. War Daddy instructs Kunas and Norman to scout a nearby building. Inside, Kunas offers Norman an apology, as they find only a dead German soldier. They quickly return to the tank, where War Daddy assigns Norman to watch from a vantage point. During a meal break, Norman hears something alarming. Looking out, he is horrified to see a battalion of German soldiers marching towards them. Rushing to warn the others, he recognizes the ominous chanting as belonging to the SS battalion. Despite Bible's desire to flee, War Daddy insists on staying, determined to carry out their mission. However, Kunas points out the overwhelming odds they face against a battalion, with only five of them. In the gripping finale, War Daddy faces a critical decision. He allows his crew to leave, offering them the chance to escape the dangerous situation. Yet, as the platoon leader, he feels the weight of responsibility for their mission, and chooses to stay behind, holding the crucial crossroad. Norman opts to stand by his side, and one by one, the rest of the crew follows suit. War Daddy reveals his plan, they will disguise their tank fury, as destroyed, and lie in wait, conserving their limited ammunition for a strategic strike. As they prepare for the imminent battle, they share a final drink, aware that this might be their last stand together. Bible shares a poignant verse that holds special meaning for him. He is surprised when War Daddy knows the exact book and chapter. They christen Norman with his new war name, Machine, a nod to his fighting spirit. Soon, the enemy approaches, surrounding Fury. The Machine spots their advance and alerts the crew. The skirmish erupts as they engage a battalion of German soldiers, fighting desperately through the night. Grenades fly, tracks are blown, and nearby enemy hiding spots are destroyed. With War Daddy's leadership, they gain an edge, taking down numerous enemy soldiers. However, their ammunition runs dangerously low. War Daddy devises a risky plan to replenish their supplies, with Gordo and Machine covering him, as he retrieves more ammo. In a harrowing moment, enemies manage to breach Fury, leading to a fierce hand-to-hand -hand struggle. War Daddy is wounded but survives, thanks to Bible's quick actions. Meanwhile, the Germans plan continuous attacks, aiming to overwhelm the outnumbered crew. As tensions escalate, both sides face dwindling resources. The crew fights valiantly, 
but casualties mount. Kunaz falls victim to an enemy assault, leaving Bible grief-stricken. War Daddy rallies the remaining crew, urging them to press on despite the odds. In a final desperate showdown, the crew faces off against the encroaching Germans. Bullets fly, grenades explode, and the battle reaches its climax. With their ammunition depleted, they resort to hand-to-hand -hand combat and Fury's machine gun. Tragically, Gordo sacrifices himself to protect his comrades, leaving only War Daddy Machine and Bible against the relentless enemy assault. Outside, Machine narrowly saves Bible from a deadly encounter, showing unwavering loyalty. Amidst the chaos, War Daddy calls for a grenade from Bible to fend off the attackers. However, tragedy strikes as the sniper takes aim, fatally shooting Bible, and then War Daddy. In a heart-wrenching moment, Machine is left alone, facing overwhelming odds. With fury under siege, Machine makes a daring escape through the tank's bottom hatch. He hides, desperately hoping to evade the enemy's relentless pursuit. A young German soldier discovers him, but surprisingly chooses to spare his life. As morning breaks, Machine emerges to the sound of passing horses, finding the lifeless bodies. With a heavy heart, he covers him, ready to defend their fallen comrades. To his relief, American soldiers arrive, declaring him a hero. Amidst a haunting image of fury, battered and broken, the aftermath of the brutal battle, Norman Ellison, now known as Machine, stands as the lone survivor in the haunting silence, a testament to the sacrifices and horrors of war. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.